Hi, welcome again to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do it right now. And this video will be soldering an open source mini mechanical keyboard. Anavi MacroPad 8 is a programmable keypad with backlighting, urnal lighting and a mini OLED display. It has been designed with KiCad. It's available as a developer kit which does not require soldering and also a maker kit for advanced users with soldering skills. This video is for the maker kit of Anavi MacroPad 8. If you don't like soldering, just get the developer kit and have a look at the other video which explains in details how to assemble it with your bare hands without soldering. The maker kit provides the printed circuit board and an addressable LED strip. There are also some nice stickers. Other accessories have to be purchased separately. You can use any mechanical switches compatible with the Cherry MX plate footprint and 3mm LEDs. Furthermore, with the maker kit you can perform a hot swap upgrade of Anavi MacroPad 8. It requires a very specific procedure which I demonstrated in another video. Link is available in the description below. If you have this in mind, don't solder anything and have a look at the other video first. For soldering and a standard assembly of the maker kit, several tools are required. A soldering iron, a screwdriver, squeezers, tweezers and a keycap puller might be also useful. It is also a good idea to stay safe and get a smoke absorber while soldering. Of course, I'm using the open source Anavi fume extractor. Step number one, solder mechanical switches to the printed circuit board. Here I have eight Gatineau red mechanical switches. The same switches are used in Anavi MacroPad 8 developer kit. Any other mechanical switch compatible with the Cherry MX plate footprint is suitable. Choosing the most appropriate switch for your needs and taste is a matter of personal preference. There are many different brands and colors. For example, blue mechanical switches are more noisy, which could be sometimes fun, but also annoying during daily work. The red switches are fast and not very noisy, therefore they are often preferred by gamers and for the developer kit of Anavi MacroPad 8. I'm using lead-free solder, so I've already increased the temperature of my TS100 soldering iron. Now let's get to work. There are two pins on each mechanical switch that must be soldered to the printed circuit board. That makes 16 pins in total. As I said, the footprint of these Gateron red mechanical switches is the same as for Cherry MX plate switches. The position of each pin is very specific and you cannot make a mistake. One of the pins is for the signal coming from the microchip at Mega32U4 microcontroller and the other pin is for ground. Step number two, solder 3mm LEDs. This step is actually optional depending on the type of the mechanical switch. Some mechanical switches may not have a hole in the plastic enclosure for a 3mm LED. However, the Gateron rod switches have a dedicated place for the 3mm LED. Each 3mm LED for true hole soldering has two legs. The longer leg is the positive terminal, also known as anode. The shorter leg is negative and is also known as cathode. The shorter leg that indicates the negative terminal must go in the square hole on the printed circuit board. Anavi MacroPad 8 has 8 mechanical switches, therefore 8 LEDs are required. If you want, you can use different colors of the LEDs. You can even mix colors. The only requirement is for the size. It must be 3 mm because this is what is supported by this model of the mechanical switches. Step number 3. Solder WS2812B addressable LED strip on the back of the printed circuit board. Using squeezers, cut a little bit from both ends of the LED strip to make sure it will stretch when placed on the board. However, it is tricky. Be careful and make sure enough from the pads are available to make a good contact after soldering them. It is very important to properly set the direction of the WS2812B LED strip. On the LED strip you will notice small arrows indicating the direction. They should point from the micro USB connector towards the other end of the PCB 
as shown in the video. I repeat, it is very important to solder the addressable LED strip in the correct direction as shown in the video. Double check the direction because if you make a mistake, this could severely damage your board. Once you're ready with these three steps, your Anavi MacroPad 8 should look just like a developer kit having all accessories soldered. Therefore, the next steps are the same for both the maker and the developer kit. Step number four, add stickers to the keycaps. Of course, this is optional. Each kit includes a set of stickers. Feel free to add them to the translucent keycaps. You can do it with your bare hands or eventually with the help of tweezers. You can place a sticker on the top or on the side of the keycap. Anavi MacroPad 8 is powered by the popular open source firmware QMK, which allows you to create various layouts. You can make a key map with two or more layouts. A sticker on the side of the keycap might be useful as a visual aid to indicate the additional function of the key. Step number five, place all keycaps on the eight mechanical switches of Anavi MacroPad 8. It is super easy and it takes just a few seconds. You can do it with your bare hands. However, as you can see in the video, a keycap puller might be useful if you make a mistake and want to pull off a keycap and place it on another location. Step number six, peel off the protective films from both sides of the two laser cut transparent acrylic parts. Honestly, the removal of the protective films is very annoying, but once you get rid of them, the acrylic enclosure will be crystal clear and fully transparent. Step number seven, assemble the acrylic enclosures. There are M3 black plastic screws, nuts and standoffs. Although you can connect them with your bare hands, a screwdriver may make things easier. First, place four of the standoffs with screws to the bottom acrylic part. After that, place Anavi MacroPad 8 on top of them. The printed circuit board has four mounting holes for this purpose. Add the rest of the standoffs on top of Anavi MacroPad 8 to secure the printed circuit board to the bottom part as shown in the video. Place the top acrylic part and fasten it with the four M3 nuts. Finally, add silicon protective pads to the screws on the bottom. Step number eight is optional. The default open source QMK firmware for Anavi MacroPad 8 supports mini OLED display connected over the communicational bus I2C. I have a compatible yellow blue mini OLED display. It comes with four jumper wires, which might be useful for debugging purposes or if you plan to make a custom 3D printed case. However, for the default acrylic enclosures, these wires are not needed. Peel off the protective film from the mini OLED display and place it as shown in the video to Anavi MacroPad 8. Pay attention to the labels that indicate the pin connectors on the display. They must match the labels on the board. Step number nine, turn on Anavi MacroPad 8 by plugging a USB to micro USB cable and connecting it to a personal computer. Thanks to the QMK firmware, Anavi MacroPad 8 will be detected as a human interface device and should work out of the box. Furthermore, with QMK, you have the freedom to fully customize each key. Please note that a USB to micro USB cable is not included in any of the kits. I recommend you to reuse a cable from an old electronic device, for an example, an old smartphone. Alternatively, you can purchase a cable according to your taste. Make sure that the cable supports both power and data transfer over USB. Thank you for watching. Check the links below for more information, including a video about the hot swap upgrade of a mechanical keyboard. This was a tutorial for advanced users of the Maker Kit, which requires soldering. Anyone not interested in soldering can get Anavi MacroPad 8 Developer Kit. Thanks again. Have fun with Anavi MacroPad 8. If you find this video useful, hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave a comment below and stay tuned for new videos.